Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, 6.06 a.m., June the 6th, or June the 7th, and we are flat. We are flat, we are flat, we are flat. The Dow yesterday, for a fraction of a couple of minutes, went red on the year. NASDAQ did absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing yesterday, and is now trailing on its five-day moving average. As you saw over there on the S&P, pretty much flat, very tight range. We did get full credit on that 4290, 4285 again. But this Russell, ma'am, this Russell 2000, and I'm going to bring you to this. Start you off here, just going over, okay, the, the QQQ. Here's your, your five-day view, gap from last week, still there. And how we continue to troll above this 353.71, 353.93, 1% from the all-time high, or sorry, the 2023 highs. And the weekly candle on the QQQ is 353.80. We're closed about one point above that. So again, with our count, 10 out of the last 12 weeks, six weeks in a row, that's the pivot we're looking for is at 353.80. And I can tell you here, you know, we are, we, we are literally spinning wheels. Today, Janet Yellen is no longer on the docket. She was on the docket as tentative for about a week because back last week, prior to the debt default, she did get scheduled that she was going to be speaking today at 10 o'clock. She is no longer on the schedule today. So again, we have the U.S. trade balance, which is coming at 830. Nothing for news. Absolutely nothing for the entire rest of the day. Exactly same thing like yesterday. SPX, 32 points on Monday, 25 points yesterday. Taco Tuesday was totally destroyed. And it was destroyed in one of the most horrific fashions I've ever seen. Here's your QQ, or sorry, this is your IWM for the week. Okay, for the week. Came out Sunday night, absolutely nothing. Dropped down back below where Joe Biden won and Pfizer came out with the cure for COVID, which there never was a COVID. There never was a cure. It's a really bad flu. And immediately dropped down there on Monday morning. Bam, 178.44. Little bounce, dead flat, closing there. 50 retracement from the 2016 election lows. Absolutely nothing overnight. Nothing. 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 Opening bell. Right here. Opening bell. 9.30 in the morning yesterday. And you get a 3.37% ramp into 12 o'clock on nothing on nothing there is no news there is no economic data there is no bond market there is no cash market there is no somebody beating earnings out of absolutely nowhere just bend over pick up the soap we're coming in ram right on up there and again on nothing zoom out here onto a 90-day view and this is exactly where we're at, going back 90 days, going back here to early March, this being the highs that were placed back in January. Put you on a cleaner view, just so there's less detail on it. This is your Russell. Going back on a basically one year plus view. Right here. 
This is your January highs. This is your August highs. And here we are on nothing, absolutely nothing. So again, this is where we're at, you know, where we're fighting to find stuff. And we got a really bad situation going here. Ba Boeing here, you know, a lot of guys are all over this with the Boeing Here's a 90 day view on Boeing. And as you can see here for 90 days, end of January, 2016, 216, 201, 216, 201. This is what you're playing with. So even though they've got a defect on the, on the Dreamliner, yeah, you had a great bounce off of the June lows and October lows, and you are trolling up here, which should roll down into around the 185s, but you're not going to get much out of that. So don't force anything. And this is where our problem is. Our problem is this VIX, okay? When a VIX is this low, it is really, really hard to go out there and get credit on a on, on a zero DTE, on a, on a two days DTE, going out a week. Now, I'll, I'll share here in the in the spread in the uh, in the email. The June monthly candle being that we are up 2.4% for the month of June as of the close. Okay, we're up 2.4% for the month, a month that began at 4183. So I'll share that with you in the email because, again, you can get $4 credit. But when you're trading with a VIX as low as it is, this makes things very difficult. It makes it to the point, being that we are on the June of 2021 lows, you're better off trading individual stocks. And really, you're better off just going out, buying one, two, whichever it may be, end of the month June, end of the month July, end of the month August, end of the month September, spy or qqq puts because you've got such a cheap vix and just let them sit when you've got a vix like this it's almost impossible to roll a trade over if you have to roll a trade over if you need to roll a trade over you got to roll down into the money and specifically here over the last three days 4241 which is our gap top 4267 4263 there's no place to roll down to until we have a confirmed move so you know it, it's it's a difficult difficult game that we're playing with right now and even here on the qqq 353.80 is your weekly candle like i said over there when we're sitting here with no economic data nothing in front of us whatsoever no catalyst everybody overbought and nobody wanting to make a move you're going to have a hard time getting things done. So this is a, I'll show you a link in this in the email. This is a simple screener I use on Finviz, which I quite like. And all that I'm looking for on this are optionable stocks that are over the price, over $40 a share, and they are overbought, overbought on their daily candle with the grandma, grandpa 14 default. Uh, immediately, you get uh, Meta, number 10, Royal Caribbean, number 9, uh, head on down. You get Tesla, number 14. All in all, there are 138 stocks. Netflix is in there as well. NVIDIA, AVGO, these are down on the low end, AMD, that all have daily RSIs over 70. So... It's again, it's one of these struggles. It's one of these things that you got to go by. But I mean, this here, th this here could explain it a little bit better. So I'll see you in the chat room and give this a go here. To live and to live in a mystery and to find purpose and to live in the now. Magic! <sighs> now!